I'm Steve Kramer of the Kramer Law Firm. Today we're going to be talking about things that you need to know about mortgage-backed securities. If you've been sued for foreclosure, if you look at the top of that lawsuit, there's going to be a name and underneath it it's going to say plaintiff. That's who's suing you. Most of the time, the person that's suing you isn't the person you took the loan with. What happened is you signed a loan with Bank of America, Countrywide, whoever it was, and then they transfer that loan. And somewhere along the line, it got transferred a bunch of times, right? Well, when you signed a loan, you signed a loan for a couple hundred thousand dollars, whatever it was, 100, 300, 2 million, doesn't matter. You signed a loan for a certain amount of money, they transferred that around, and they don't like to move that sheet of paper around because that note is like a check that's signed, right? If you get a paycheck from work and you sign the back of that and you leave it at, at the counter at Starbucks or whatever, somebody can come in, pick that up and go cash it to the bank. And the same thing happens with your note. It's just like a check. And when it gets transferred, they sign it and then they move it around. Well, what happens is um, because they don't want to move it around, they, have a, uh, they put it in a vault, all right? And then they hire a company called MERS, Mortgage Electronic Registration Systems. And that company tracks where this mortgage is at electronically. So instead of actually signing and handing over like you would a check if you had to endorse it, they actually move it around electronically. Now eventually, um, how a mortgage-backed security is created is you pool together a bunch of mortgages. You tie all these notes together and you do what's called a pooling and servicing agreement, right? And then that's where the magic happens. They take the stack of agreements, right? And they sell them as a mortgage-backed bond to investors. So you have all these people investing in these mortgage-backed bonds, just like the Florida Retirement System and all these big companies and mutual funds and all these different um, investment groups are investing in these mortgage-backed securities. Now the reality is that these people are called certificate holders and these are the people that actually own your mortgage, right? And there's a big issue here because you're being sued with this guy, this plaintiff that says that they own your mortgage, but the reality is they don't or that they didn't attach the paperwork to show that they owned it, meaning you had to deal with Countrywide, the mortgage says Countrywide, the note says Countrywide, everything attached to the complaint says Countrywide, but now you're being sued by Deutsche Bank, Assets, you know, Securitization Trust, 2000 A, B, C, D, whatever. The point is that we can use this, we can attack a mortgage foreclosure and we can defend it with this information. We can attack it and we can check who the current owner is. We can bring in experts that can say this isn't the right owner of the note. This person that's suing these people don't have a right to file a lawsuit. And this matters because accidents happen. Lawsuits are filed where the plaintiff who says that they own mortgage actually doesn't. I've seen people that have been sued two times on the same house by different banks. So you get sued by bank U.S. Bank here on lawsuit one and Bank of America here on lawsuit two. So now you got two lawsuits from different lenders who both say that you owe them money on one house. And that's a problem. So the bottom line is if you look at the top of your foreclosure lawsuit and you see a name that you don't know, you see um, Citibank Asset Securitization Trust 2000 ABCD whatever then you probably have an issue with a mortgage-backed security case and we can defend that. Why am I telling you this? Because you probably have questions and I deal with this every day. So I'd be glad to talk with you. You can call me at the number below uh, and I'd love to talk with you. Also, if you're watching this on Facebook or YouTube, click the like button below. This way your friends and family can benefit from the information that I'm giving you. I'm Steve Kramer, the Kramer Law Firm. Thanks for watching. Thank you.